and as far as wiring goes I have missed a bunch of wiring as far as what I did I guess I'm going to make a, just a few quick notes here this is the under the dash part of the wiring there is a two places basically where you have to do some wiring there is the footwell module and there is the cast module in a nutshell you get about four wires I guess coming out of the uh, engine bay and transmission no not really I'm not presenting this correctly so you have four wires basically coming to these modules but then those wires are not all of them are coming uh, from under the hood so those wires would be uh, I guess three places that those wires are coming from there is a, a reverse switch on the transmission which is two wires so one of them is ground and then you have uh, like pin 19 that goes into the DME right and there is the other pin or a wire that's coming from that switch that the transmission reverse backup light switch in a nutshell this yellow one is the back backup switch coming from the transmission there is this brown wire which is ground oh okay so I'm, I'm a bit I'm not I'm not telling the whole story and uh, so besides those two places I almost missed this there is another uh, connector and this is the clutch I guess clutch position sensor clutch master cylinder position sensor I guess that's the best way to describe it properly so that sensor slash switch has four wires that you have to run places so there is a ground and uh, three other wires so um, I guess there is a diagram I kind of don't remember from the top of my head now exactly those wires where those wires go and I think one of those wires actually goes back all the way to DME well there is a wiring diagram available uh, a whole bunch of them that show all these proper pinouts and locations I'm just saying that you what you have to do you have to wire up run a wire to DME you have to run wires to the backup switch backup lamp switch reverse switch on the transmission and you have to wi uh, wire this connector or run this connector to the clutch mo uh, master cylinder so those wires end up different places like I said 10 times already there is a wiring diagram so I just was going to say that I have these wires now that I have to hook up to a um, footwell module and cast module so the cast module is a uh, is up here and it's this kind of a connector um, football module is two connectors one of them is uh, actually there is only one wire going to I think it's a football module this one FRM wire position pin 19 uh, on one of these connectors I think I labeled it it's it's up there <laughs> so I'm going to run those wires and I guess finish all of this uh, you have two options you can basically buy pins individual pins for different connectors to different that fit different modules and crimp those and install wires or I came across these connectors on eBay uh, I don't think it was cheaper than buying the pins but I just saw them and I figured why not just buy these so what I'm going to do I'm just going to pull a pin or so whatever I need out of these connectors um, and just basically terminate solder and terminate those wires to my wires and uh, using heat shrink and soldering and that, that will create a, a good connection that's pretty much all that uh, is uh, is to be done here uh, the cast module is still in place this is the cast module connector it says right here I labeled the the, the wire 41 and there is a wire uh, 41 is this one and then I have wire for pin position 3 so that goes to position pin position 3 
41 is actually a wire occupying or a pin occupying a place you you have to pull that one out insulate it because as far as I know or from what I understand this wire is uh, going somewhere in uh, the automatic transmission harness that I don't have anymore so it may end up going somewhere still but uh well long story short this this wire has to be replaced with this wire that I uh, added or a custom harness I guess that I I also ended up buying this cloth tape that is exactly the same brand as far as I understand that BMW uses for all of these wire harnesses here it looks so uh, says made in Germany and it looks exactly like what BMW uses here so I'm running that tape over all of my new wires so once everything is once everything is plugged in back uh, where it should be plugged uh, you wouldn't be able to really tell the difference between factory and non-factory wires well that's a long introduction to a really small situation I guess here so uh, I'm not sure if this will be a, a 100% correct wiring at this point or correct way of wiring I hope but uh, I follow the diagrams but I may have messed things up which I occasionally or quite often do well I guess let's just get uh, get to it and do it and uh, and I guess be done with this part so this is the cast module connector to take it apart when you have it like this you have to remove the shell to disassemble this connector there are two tabs on, on this end you kind of have to pull them sideways or push them sideways like so and then basically slide these connectors or cores out of the shell that's what it does and then you have two pieces that are kind of interlocking so to get those out you have to push a tab on on the pin itself in any case you have to push the stupid tab on the pin itself and then just pull it push and pull so that's one it's a blue with a black stripe and the other one is uh, number three which is not occupied on this connector as far as I can tell so it's the same must be the same automatic find the color I like well it came out I'm going to reassemble this thingy because because so I have two of these wires two of these wires just probably cut them strip them approximately so I'll trim this shorter strip these oh these are heavier gauge wires like so like so twist them like this so now it's time to get this device and solder so here's the result of um, shrimp tube and solder and the shrimp tube and everything is done as if this was an airplane so now it's time to plug these things in and uh, like I said these two wires go to cast module this wire goes to footwell module FRM and then this plugs into the clutch sensor that I still don't have I bought it and they never shipped it so they refunded me and then I bought it from a different place and I'm so I'm going to plug these wires into those connector connectors and then I will 
tie up all of uh, the wiring with this cloth tape. That should be it for uh, for tonight at least and I'll have to check out. I guess double check the wiring tomorrow or some other day when I'm in the garage and go into coding and, uh, and see if the car actually starts up. That's going to be exciting.